is Kidnap Has Star in Spin. Former cricketer forced to hide after allegedly taken at gunpoint by Lovers Underworld link. The brother, Stuart McGill, was allegedly caught in the middle of a feud between drug syndicates when he was kidnapped at gunpoint. <laughs> uh, no suggestion at all that uh, Stuart McGill has done anything wrong here other than be in the centre of this kidnapped attempt, Caleb. It's extraordinary, isn't it? <laughs> Extraordinary is the right word for it, I think. I'm, I'm pretty captivated by this case. I mean, you've got to ask the question, why? How does poor old Stuart McGill end up in the middle of this feud, seeming feud? Um, you've got alleged Comanchero bikies involved. Um, you know, they're talking about him being taken and, and beaten, uh, threatened at gunpoint. He then takes himself off to uh, a hotel in a cab and stays there for six days to sort of rest and recuperate before he reports it to police. It's all very bizarre. Um, and uh, the, Stuart McGill was working in this uh, restaurant, which is managed by his partner, um, and it's the, they're alleging that the brother of this partner was involved in the kidnapping. I mean, it's got all the makings of a, of a great true crime story, doesn't it? In fact, if this stuff didn't happen, you'd have to write it as fiction. It's just so good. Mm. Um, and Stuart McGill, as you say, uh, was quite a promising cricketer, was a, was a very good cricketer. In fact, I think he took uh, 208 wickets from 44 test matches, which is a, a similar a wicket average per match to, to Shane Warne. I think it's just behind Shane Warne uh, when, you, when you average out the number of wickets per match. And, in fact, he was, mm. uh, or still is, the fastest test cricketer to 150 wickets in terms of balls bowled. So I didn't know he that, He was Kate. very... Mm, I know, it's quite extraordinary. He was, he was a very good cricketer, but, of course, always sort of had to play second fiddle to the brilliance of mm. Shane Warne. Um, and only really ever got a look in when um, Shane mm. Warne was off on drug bans and, and after he retired. Um, and he, he made a small play towards the end of his career at, at ODIs, but I, I think he only spent about a year in the test squad after mm. uh, Warne's retirement and then announced his own retirement. Um, but he was a very good cricketer, so... What an extraordinary turn of events for the, the man who, you know, if Shane Warne wasn't there, could have been our number one spin bowler um, to end up being mm. kidnapped and threatened at gunpoint. <laughs> you just can't Crazy believe this stuff. stuff. Well, he had a, he had a great googly, uh, McGill, uh, but clearly caught on a very sticky wicket here and let's hope that he's OK <laughs> because that would have been a traumatic, a traumatic experience. There's no doubt about that. And, of course, those particular men, the accused... The alleged accused, uh, obviously uh, staring down the barrel of some pretty uh, solid uh, prison time.